What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right, so we are looking for the standard deviation of the group of data items to the nearest hundredth. All right, and our data items are right there. So this is usually a great time to make a table, but better yet, let's talk about standard deviation. So standard deviation is equal to the square root of the sum it's kind of close of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1. So the x is the data item, x bar is the mean, n is the number of data you have. So let's do this, and the nice part about tables is that you can kind of do it step by step, okay? So first, let's look at n. What's n equal to? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 pieces of data here. So n is equal to 7. So let's first column is going to be x. So we have 9, 9, 9, 12, 15, 15, 15. So the first thing I got to do, because the next column is x bar, I have to find the mean. Well, that would be 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 12 Gonna run out of room there. Plus 15, plus 15, plus 15, and all divided by seven. So let's take a look at what that's gonna equal to. So let me see here, nine plus nine plus nine plus 12 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. And we have 84 divided by 7 and that's going to equal to 12 okay so now I know what my mean is so now I'll go back to x bar and put down 12 for every single one of these My next column is I'm going to take the difference of the two. So 9 minus 12 is negative 3. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. 9 minus 12 is negative 3. 12 minus 12 is 0. 3, 3, and 3. Okay? So then the next one is going to be the x minus x bar squared. So I'm squaring the previous column. So negative 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. Awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and sum up this column right here. So I'm actually doing this piece right here. Since I highlighted it in red, let's change that to blue. So when I add those all together, 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 0 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9, right? There's six nines right there, so I can actually do just 6 times 9, and I'm going to get a 54. So in that case, the standard deviation is going to equal to the square root of The 54 divided by n minus 1, so that's going to be 
six. Bring that in a little more. There we go. And that is going to equal to, let's see, let's see. So we got to take the 54 divided by 6 and then take the square root of it. So we're going to get a standard deviation of a 3. Well, there's nothing to round and that's going to be choice C. And there we go. Hope that helps. Any questions, let me know. See ya. Bye.